Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Karendang, and I'm a psychiatrist. Today, I will talk about how SSRIs work. SSRIs, otherwise known as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, are antidepressant medications which work by increasing serotonin in the synapses in the central nervous system. So here we have a picture of neurons. Here is the presynaptic neuron. And here is the postsynaptic neuron. So neurons communicate with each other via the synapse. So what happens is serotonin is located in vesicles in the presynaptic neuron and serotonin then is released into the synapse. The serotonin then travels across the synapse which is unloaded from the vesicles from the presynaptic neuron and this travels across the synapse to bind to postsynaptic receptors here and this in turn continues the signal to the neuron postsynaptically. So how serotonin then is recycled in the synapse is that after serotonin is released into the synapse it is also reabsorbed back into the presynaptic neuron here. So that is how serotonin is released and how serotonin is reabsorbed and this thereby completes the communication between the presynaptic neuron and the postsynaptic neuron. So when you swallow an SSRI, it goes into the bloodstream, then it travels to the brain, then it travels to the synapse. So here you have SSRIs here, which travels to the synapse. It actually lodges itself in this reuptake pump and it blocks the reabsor reabsorption of serotonin into the presynaptic neuron. So when an SSRI blocks the reuptake of serotonin, what happens then is that there is an accumulation of serotonin in the synapse and thereby it increases the concentration of serotonin in the synapse, thereby increasing the binding of serotonin to the postsynaptic receptors, thereby increasing the signal postsynaptically. So this is how serotonin is increased when you ingest an SSRI. SSRIs work by increasing serotonin in the synapse. And this works, uh, SSRIs treats depression and anxiety um, hypothetically by this mechanism where there is an increase in serotonin where you have so-called serotonin deficiency states as in anxiety and depression. For more information and help on SSRIs and anxiety, please visit anxietyboss.com. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Carlo Karenang.